Greetings, Earthlings. Heidi Bowl. Welcome. Topic of today's uh, video blog is it's difficult to stay alive sometimes. Difficult to stay healthy sometimes. Uh, that's how it feels for me right now. I mean, I feel fine. But, you know, an interesting thing is that I feel, I, I mean, I haven't seen the cat, the, uh, the PET scans or anything, but it seems like this because um, I have the, uh, the swollen uh, thyroid gland, it seems like it goes all the way through to the other. When I, when, I, when I move it, it feels like it's moving like this, which would be interesting because that means it's a throat chakra, which means communication. So I'm trying to see this not only medically, but also metaphorically. So this is communication and like speaking your truth. Uh, you know, there's the absolute truth, and then there's our particular take on life, and hopefully they, they correspond somewhat. Uh, but it means, uh, you know, articulating uh, truth. And uh, when I think about my past, I shared how I had to testify in court that I wanted to live with my father, which I didn't. So in my way of thinking, that was like not speaking my truth. I mean, I was just a kid. I was 16. I didn't know any better, but it was it was denying my needs as a person, and uh, it didn't turn out that bad. But uh, anyway, I'm just thinking about all the different uh, levels of an illness. There's always an emotional component. You know, you could say it's karma, but to you analyze it, so there is an emotional component to it, and I'm really looking at that, and it's just quite amazing to me, because I have issues with power manifesting power you know I as a child I felt powerless to do anything about my parents uh, kind of relationship so um, uh, I had a timer set and I didn't set it so I hope this is not going to be too long I'm trying to keep these like at five minutes um, I mean because I could talk for too long and then that would defeat the purpose but anyway I'm looking at that besides uh, you know strengthening my immune system doing exercise and, you know, the difficulty in staying alive, so it seems, uh, being healthy. Uh, you know, I'm, I just turned 65. I turned 65 in on June, June 22nd. So that was, uh, you know, that's interesting, getting older. I mean, I don't feel old in any way. I mean, I'm, um, my energy level is still high. Uh, so I, I mean different things, I'm slower at my knees, or they wanted to do a knee replacement like uh, eight or nine years ago, but I, I haven't been able to avoid that. I still get around just fine. Um, but uh, I have a saying that I'm kind of, I need to apply, I am applying in my life, that tomorrow begins the night before. So we have to be disciplined if we want to do spiritual life, ideally. Uh, if we want to get done what we need to get done, we, make, we have to make a priority to our spiritual life. And I learned that living in the temple for like 12 years as a pajari and a cook mainly, temple devotee. So I, I, didn't, I was able to do that. I was able to sleep less, get up, be fully engaged all day. But of course I would burn out and I'd go, and go to another temple. I did that for many years. I went all over the world doing that. Uh, so... Got to see a lot of different temples. I hope to be able to get back to them at some point. Um, hopefully sooner rather than later. But um, being disciplined, yeah, it comes easy for me, but I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I'd rather watch someone else, you know, like in a movie having an adventure. But one of my realizations is I have to make my own life an adventure so I don't, you know, seek to make, to look at someone else's life as my sustenance. We all have a contribution to make in life. Um, and it's important that we understand what that is at some point. You know, we have families and um, jobs and things like that. But there's, we also have, I like to call, you know, your karmic mission, you know, your svadharma. Um, and ideally, it's gonna support your sanatan dharma, your spiritual duty, your spiritual um, mission. Um, spiritual self-realization process for us bhakti. So uh, 
right now it's uh, seven o'clock and um, I should be going to getting ready to go to bed at eight if I want to get up at three so if I get up at three I take a shower wake up the deities at 3 30 and start chanting uh, maybe you know in another 15 minutes hopefully it usually takes me about two two and a half hours to chant 16 rounds and uh, I'm chanting them as to, to my best ability to really cry out to the Lord to help me in whatever way that he can. Uh, it isn't just about being better, being about healthy, but it's being the, the best spiritual person that I can, being the best human being that I can, the kindest person, the most loving person, the most thoughtful and understanding person that I can, and also uh, trying to make Krishna consciousness as ex accessible as possible and real as possible because that's so important to me honesty being real being a you know authentic in the service of your ultimate spiritual identity my wife and I call and you've heard of, many people have heard of our authentic self and we call it our authentic illusory self because this isn't really who we are ultimately spiritually nevertheless we have to go through it the way out is through so um, I have to be regulated do my chanting and then I do pranayam, then I do my worship, I make breakfast, then uh, sometime during the day I'm going to lay in the biomat, for, uh, uh, yeah, far infrared uh, technology, it seems to be helping my uh, the cancer, uh, then uh, jump on the trampoline and ride my bike, read, write, do a video blog, <laughs> I'm doing it at the end of the day because I want to, it's going to take all night to publish this. So I need to do that so that I can put it on tomorrow. It'll be Sunday. But uh, I didn't really have much time to really, I mean, five minutes. I think this is going to be like six or seven minutes. Um, but that's a little bit about my schedule and uh, my absorption. And uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to travel a little bit uh, when I go to California on my way to Mexico. And I want to start doing that on the East Coast as well. So we'll see uh, if Krishna lets me do that. Talk about death and dying. Or I, as I say, uh, facing death so we can live life more fully. So let's do it. Thank you. Hare Krishna.